conversation. Hey folks, Dan Freer here with the Mortgage Update. Today is June 17th, 2020. So, we, as you guys know, we do we have an educational channel. That's what I try to make it be. Uh, it, it, it is the, the rate update or the mortgage update with Dan Frio. And, but what I try to do is make a difference because I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and there was so much, you know, just, I'll say bad information on there or false information. I won't say people are lying to you, but there was a lot of information that, you know, I think it was just clickbait or something like that to get you to click. So I started this channel basically to educate people, uh, on the truths. And, you know, I, th there's this, our, our website or everything now is the rate update. If you take the, the for T, rate, R, update, you, true. So yep. we'll try to give you the truth. So Jay, actually, he's on my team. Um, and hey, Jay. Hey, guys. So he came to me uh, about a week or two ago. And we all know what's going on in, in the world out there. Yep. And it's, it's, it's frustrating. Sad. Yeah, it's sad. Um, he asked, you know, Dan, can I use your platform to help educate? Let me just give you a little bit of background about me just for a minute. I won't try to bore you. Um, I hit bottom years ago and through some of the co community events that I would do, I used to go to the prisons every Saturday yep. and I would bribe all the kids. They, they range from 15 <laughs> to 18 years old. I'd bribe them with, I'd go stop at McDonald's and pick up about 50 egg McMuffins. That's awesome. And that's how I got 20, 30 kids uh, to show up for my talks every, every uh, Saturday from about eight to 10. And it was a huge eye opener for me. A lot of the inner city kids in Chicago, um, many of them we were talking and they're like, you know, I've never been to the lake. Yeah. And to me, it just seemed crazy. Crazy. But in today's world, you're starting to see the craziness everywhere. Yeah. So when Jay approached me with this, I said, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. We didn't want to get political or, or, you know, play the race cards or right. anything. What we want to do is just educate you guys. Yeah. And so when he he brought this to me, I'm like, you know, this is a great platform. Let's use it to and I help. appreciate it. So I appreciate that's it. where we are yeah. today. So yeah. kind of, do you take it from there? So we're glad basically an educational series that we want to go through with you guys. Um, people that live in the inner city, I mean, let's be real. I'm a black guy. Dan's a white guy. And that is what it is. With. Yeah. Um, I communicate a lot with people that are in the inner city and the urban areas, and I want to make sure that they have the same opportunities that I've had. I didn't grow up in the hood. I'm just going to keep it real. I didn't grow up in the hood, but I have a lot of family that did. And, and, and when I say hood, I mean inner city. We know what I mean when I say that. I'm not trying to sound confrontational or, you know, yeah. be weird. Um, but what I noticed is a lot of a, a lot of people in the inner city don't have the financial literacy and the knowledge necessary to take the next steps in life, meaning buying homes and opening up bank accounts and, and saving and different types of investments and things of that nature. So I came to Dan and I said, hey, I want to try to make a difference. I want to do something. You know, you got the protesters and all that stuff. We know what's going on in the world. I want to be able to offer something that is non-biased, that is completely free information that I think will benefit um, those that might not know certain information in regards to homeownership. So we started this web or this series that we're going to do, um, basically going through the steps that are necessary in a home purchase uh, process. And this is whether you live in the suburbs, in the inner city, oh, yeah. whatever the case may be, but it's Anybody. a little different when you're, because I know the different scenarios and the different situations that, um, let's face it, black kids in the inner city. And I, when I say kids, I mean, people in their, you know, 20s, you know, just getting their first job. Well, starting from money. a little kid. Right. There, well, it there's starts no, there, yeah. You know, it's the mom, there. dad, grandma, yeah. whoever. You're renting most cases. Right. Most it's cases, in an area right. you don't want to be right. in a lot of cases. Most people that are in the hood will tell you they want, the number one goal is to get out. Okay. And so, so that might be, you know, what we're, t we're talking here. Yeah. Let us help get you out. Yeah. I mean, if that's your goal. I, I don't know what your goals are, but if you're watching this, hopefully that's your goal. And we can get you on the, the path. We can at least put you get put a game plan together. I don't want to leave sound it up salesy to at all. Right. I'm not trying to sell, sell anybody a darn thing. I want to educate you so that you have the tools necessary to make those decisions when the time comes. Hey, I want to stop renting. I want to buy my first home. This is the, these are the steps I need to take according to Dan and Jay. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish in this. I'm not trying to sell you anything. The the funny thing, and I won't say it's funny, but one of the things you you said previously was, you know, a lot of people don't know that 
what was it mom put the, the yeah. light bill in yeah. their name you see and that a lot of times oh, yeah we, we see i mean ton. you know you're a kid and you don't have control over these things but you know you're 17 18 years old and you know mom throws the water bill under your name and puts the electric bill under your brother john's name and this bill and so by the time you start to be you start getting to the point where you want to even use your credit you don't even realize that it's already bad it's a wreck it's it's, it's worse than bad because of those habits and so what i'm trying to do is break those habits try to break that cycle and try to get some knowledge in there to where you know as an adult these are the things that i need to do and the steps i need to take to get me from uh renting in an area that's not favorable let's just call it what it is and into owning a property that's where i want it you know well the crazy thing is even like with my kids we, yeah. we're in the suburbs i'm originally from a small little hick town in west virginia <laughs> we, we lived in a little little hut thing i'm from the country whatever. too <laughs> so you know um even in the suburbs yeah they don't teach a lot of finance no. stuff no. like my kids when they got out of high school you know one went to the college the first the first night he's there mm -hmm. they go to get pizza he doesn't know how to use his atm card on the it. thing they just don't it. they don't yeah. know how to write a check they right. don't balance so, a checkbook you know, even, write a check yeah. so then you're taking that now I'll, you're in the you're in the suburbs right you now take it down to the inner in a oh. city where the schools we all know are yeah. worse than the suburbs right Forget about you it. know they're not teaching yeah. anything of that no. sort there. So the, no. the the gist of it is, what what I'd like to cover is the biggest pieces of this puzzle is your, your credit. Oh, I mean, right. when you're looking to do anything, let's let's scrap the home ownership yeah. for now. Let's just help give you some financial advice. Yeah. Credit. We got we got to address the credit yep. issue, and that's what we're that's going to be our first big yep. uh, video, and that that's going to come out next week. We're going to try to do these every Wednesday. Please follow along in the series. Yeah. You gotta... If you if there's anything that you want us to s discuss specifically, please put it down yes. in the description below. You can follow. I have over 500 videos on the channel. I respond to every comment that's out there. Absolutely. I might miss one or two that appear sometimes to be spam. Uh, so if you're reading through, but I respond to everything. So yep. I'll make sure Jay and, Jay and or myself respond to every comment that's yep. down there. If there's something specific you want us to talk about, I don't care if it's how do you open a checking account. Yeah. Um, let us know. And we'll, we'll address these in our videos. One of the things when I was at the prisons, one guy said, you know, I, I said to him in this, it was funny at the time, but I yeah. was like, man. I said, I'm going to uh, West Virginia this weekend to visit my parents. He mm -hmm. said, oh, you driving? And I said, yeah, I'm driving. He said, can you drive anywhere? And I said, what do you mean mm -hmm. anywhere? Like China or whatever? Right. He's like, yeah, can you drive to China? Wow. And the, to me, that was probably one of the first wow. eye openers yeah. that I had. I'm like, no, you wow. can't. this was a 17 year old kid. Didn't know. With a high school, well, he's getting his GED in right. prison. Right, right. Um, but those are the things where yeah. it's just like, you know, how can we make a difference? Right. So let's, right. for now, we'll scrap the home ownership stuff. Yeah. Let's just get you on a path to just, I like walk that. and run. I like that. Why don't you, you know, maybe we can get you out of the area that you're in yeah. and get you into a decent place, you know, a nicer place to rent. Yep. And then from there, go on. But you might be amazed on how, you know, decent credit mm -hmm. with a decent job can get you into your own home. Yep. And home ownership is the one of the biggest pieces of financial um, stability yep. in your whole life. You know, you buy a house, and even if it doesn't appreciate, you still have an asset have there that, that you're asset. making payments yep. on. And you know, after 30 years, it's paid off. Yep. Let's say you bought it for 200 grand, and it didn't appreciate at all. Right. Well, 30 years later, you got a 200 thousand dollar house free and clear. It's 200 grand. Yep. So that's where we worst want to go. case. Scenario. Yeah. <laughs> so the big, the, the main topics we want to go over yes. are first things first, credit. Yes. And, and like Dan just mentioned, we're going to go into our, our our series next week talking about credit in detail. So please follow along, guys. I'm not doing this, like I said, for any monetary reason. I want to educate. Um, the second thing is going to be the income. And Dan and I were just talking about this just before we started the camera. In that, you know, how do you how do you how do you explain this and get this information out to the guy that works at Walmart? He's been working there for two years and he makes you know, fifteen twenty bucks an hour, whatever the case may be. But we want to show you how to maximize every single piece of this puzzle. So first, credit. Second, income. And third is going to be your down payment amount. So we're going to cover all three of those bases um, over the next few weeks. And then at the end, we're going to show you the whole pie put together uh, basically as a first time home buyer, what you can expect, you know, what you should expect of yourself, preparation for it, and, and 
hopefully answer any questions that you guys have in the process. If there's something you want us to cover, like Dan said, in addition, uh, we'll cover that as well. But those are the main gists of it because I don't think, and 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 I don't, I'm not knocking it, but I don't think the educational system in the inner city is anywhere near what it is in the suburban areas. Yeah. I just, it, it's a fact. Um, and I know a lot of people, they start, you know, and let me just call it like I see it, look, a lot of fatherless homes. So son's working in high school. He's barely even going to school. So you take all of these pieces of the puzzle into play, you know, the situation that you're in sometimes can be self-induced. It can be, you know, your environment induced, or it can just be not knowing and not having the knowledge. So we want to make sure that we cover at least a couple of those bases and then I can answer the questions or, or help get you on the right path to, to home ownership. And like Dan said, that's probably one of, it is one of the uh, biggest assets that you can have is obviously owning your own home and, and tools that you can use, um, you know, presently and in your future um, is, is being able to be a homeowner and having that home ownership. So, so, and I made a comment, we were trying to say, you know, what do we title this and what do we call it? Tell um, him what you said. Moving on up. <laughs> so then he starts singing now, the thing. You know, the old school, the old school show, you know what we're talking about. So or we're just old. Yeah. So yeah, we're old. I'm old. But, uh, you know, let us help you move on up. Yes. And we, we mean that in a positive way. So 100%. we want, you just want to say thank you for watching. We know it's just an uh, introduction video, but I hope you stay tuned. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Share this out to people. Share it out to your community groups. Share it out to your church. Share it out to your. Heck, you go, you, if you're a teacher watching this, play this in school. Yeah. Let us know. I mean, that might be an area where we it's come out. A great idea. We'll come out to visit you guys. Yeah. And it'll be the Dan and Jay show. Yeah. DJ. DJ yeah. show. We'll be your DJ. There you go. And uh, you can tell the kids, hey, we got a DJ coming in. And we walk in and we're like, what are these guys doing? So we're, honestly, we're here to help. Um, and that's all I want to say about that. So yeah. please don't forget to, to do all that below. Um, please subscribe. Leave comments. We can't do this without your comments. I can't wait to do this. That's the direction that we want to take from you guys. We want you to lead this group. We'll be the knowledge behind it. Uh, if we don't know the answer and you stump us, I promise you I'll find the answer. 100%. And we'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll give that to you. But please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll have all our information down below where you can contact us. Stay tuned. God bless. Take care. We'll see you, see you next week. Same time, same place. God bless. Bye-bye.